All right. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Hugh. I'm the founder of Pressbooks, and I'm going to talk about something new and exciting in our universe, which is the Pressbooks directory. Um, but quickly, before I get to that, just wanted to do a little bit of uh, backfilling of information. So Pressbooks is a open source platform, web-based, built on WordPress, and we uh, are a book creation platform used largely now by higher ed institutions to create open educational resources. Um, we've been around for a while, but certainly in the last three years, we've seen growth mainly in the US and Canada for uh, academic institutions using Pressbooks. So we probably have about 150 clients of higher ed institutions in the US making content on Pressbooks. It's uh, easy to pull content in from other Pressbooks networks and adapt uh, the content or uh, revise it or just use it as you like. Um, so that's Pressbooks. Um, and, uh -oh, there we go. And this is me. Um, and I used to laugh at people who had very old photos of themselves in presentations. And I realized this one's probably now about 13 years old, so I should probably update it sometimes. In any case, uh, as I said, Pressbooks has been around for a number of years, uh, used by a number of higher ed institutions creating OER. Um, but there's been one kind of big problem is that that OER is often hidden from view from the rest of the universe unless you know where to look for it. So we were trying to solve a problem. First of all, how can people who are using Pressbooks to create OER find that OER from other institutions? Um, also, what are some really good examples of quality OER in particular subjects? Um, other kinds of problems we're trying to solve, how do we extend the reach for great OER? So if there's good stuff out there, making sure that it's visible and findable. And also, if you're starting an OER program, how do you start building upon uh, existing OER rather than uh, starting from scratch? So those have been some of the concerns that we've had. Uh, and our solution was to build an index or directory of the existing OER in the Pressbooks uh, ecosystem so that people could easily access the content and use it. So going back again to these problems, um, we're trying to make it easier to find out what's out there, particularly in the Pressbooks ecosystem. So there's a growing community of open educational uh, resource makers in higher ed particularly. And with the Pressbooks directory, it makes it a lot easier for the projects to get surfaced and the practitioners to connect with others who are creating content. Um, secondly, we see a lot of this as we talk to Pressbooks users in higher ed, that one of the issues of being an OER advocate is battling against that open stigma. Uh, so Pressbooks makes it easy to find good quality OER uh, to sh highlight and show that to administrators who might be skeptical. Other big issue is furthering the reach, and this is something that the Pressbooks directory helps out. It helps uh, spread the reach of content so that it's easier to find, and it's an automatic way as long as your Pressbooks content is openly licensed or open on the web, you can automatically include that in the directory, which allows it to be searchable and findable. Uh, obviously, this is an issue of keeping metadata up to date in your book, which is important. And finally, uh, Pressbooks is a great place to get started. So if you want to be building off of existing OER, Pressbooks directory helps you find stuff that you can easily find, clone, adapt, or download, or whatever, and, and do as you wish with the OER. Um, it's searchable and sortable. You can use either just natural language or faceted search. Um, and here's a link to Pressbooks directory. And that is me. And I think I am I have just a couple more minutes. Are you guys still seeing the screen? For those who don't know, here's what a Pressbooks book looks like. This is the great, um, from a series of philosophy books we're doing uh, that are done out of the Rebus community. Um, here is a view of Pressbooks directory searching for biology, seeing what's there. Um, we, you can search by license, you can search by language, you can search by whether a book has been cloned or is the original. Uh, you can also search by content, whether it has H5P interactive content in it, which we embed within Pressbooks. 
Um, and there you go. That is Pressbooks directory. It's, it's brand new. We just released it last week. You can see it's, it's pretty much a developer cut in terms of design. So we'll be continuing to improve this tool as time goes on. Um, so there you go. Happy to open questions. Thank you, Hugh. Uh, the floor is open. Who has a question for Hugh? Hi, Hugh. Do I understand correctly that only press books are included in the press book directory? Are there any other types of OER in there? No, it's uh, so the directory is populated by the metadata that Pressbooks itself uh, spits out. So that's what we're collecting, and uh, it's you're correct. It's exclusively Pressbooks content. It's mostly currently from uh, client networks, so customers of ours that we host. We are slowly working with the open source universe who are using the open source version of Pressbooks to include the. Uh, content from there as well, and there's some important projects that that use uh, Pressbooks open source. So we'll continue working with them to make sure they're running the latest Pressbooks so that we can ingest that data metadata. Uh, question from Joan: There can Pressbooks be read offline uh, as long as the users have made the content available for download? Then yes. Uh, so if we look here. Is that everything's going to go slowly, of course, because I'm sharing my screen. But here you can have a download this book button, which in multiple formats. So uh, PDF, EPUB, um, you can get XML formats, OpenDoc, etc. cetera. Um, Sarah says, do I have plans to connect with X5GON for OER discovery. I don't know what X5GON is, but uh, we're in the early days. And if someone behind that project were to contact us, we'd be very interested in finding ways to spread the metadata from the directory into other um, other systems. Hugh, if you need an introduction there, it's a team in Slovenia. I'm happy to connect okay. you if you'd like. Yep, that'd be great. 